This example, we're going to be grabbing some data from our spreadsheet and then logging it out within our script. So that's going to be from a bound script and I've got the Google script editor open. So under extensions, app script, that will open up the default script editor. So let's rename the default function and we'll just uh, name it uh, read spreadsheet data. And we're going to be selecting data from the spreadsheet. So first we want to grab the sheet object and we can use this using the spreadsheet app service and we get the active spreadsheet. So that's going to be whatever the current active spreadsheet and that's open. And then we get the active sheet. So that should actually be get the active sheet. So that returns back the current sheet that we're working with. So we can log into the log. And if we want to get uh, the name of the sheet, we're able to do that as well. If we want to get the name of whatever spreadsheet that we're currently working with. So let's go ahead and we're going to run the script, accept the permissions. And so it's returning back sheet one. So let's go back into our spreadsheet. So that's the name of the sheet. If we add a second sheet and now we run the code. So this is the one that's currently open right now. So it's going to be returning back sheet two. So you can also select the sheet by name if you want in order to get whatever the active spreadsheet is. So let's uh, show you how to do that as well. So if you don't or you want to be always specifying data, and in this case we are getting data from the spreadsheet. So this is going to be the same code, but it's going to allow us, we're going to be able to update which sheet we're selecting. So we're not going to select the active one, we're going to select the sheet by name. So right now it's whatever one the user has open of the active sheet. So let's uh, open the sheet. So we have some options here. So we can get the sheet information. It's actually should be get sheet by name. So get sheet one, get sheet by name. So it's returning back the sheet one. So that allows us to be specific which, which sheet we want to use. So next let's get the range. And the range is going to be the selected area that we want to interact with from within the sheet object. So we use the get range method. And here we've got some options where we can select it by integer. So row integer, column integer, the cell value. So in this case, we're looking at a one that we want to select the value from, and that's coming from a one. So that's the one that we want to select and that's selecting the range. And in order to get the value from the range, we use the range and then we do the get value method. And this is going to return back whatever value we have within the selection. And let's output it into the log for now. And then once we have it as a string value, then there's any number of things that we can do with that value. So let's read the spreadsheet data and we're going to output whatever we've got within cell one into the log. If you update this, if we go A5, it's going to read whatever data we have within A5. And so we get the change there, locating and showing A5 value. That's how you can get data and read data from the spreadsheet and use it within your Google Apps script.